Kean Bexter here reporting from Regina, Saskatchewan. I'm not at my news desk today, as you might have heard, because I'm actually on my way to Ottawa with the United We Roll convoy. It's heading from Alberta to Justin Trudeau's doorstep to protest his stance on pipelines and Alberta in general. I may have left Alberta, but that doesn't mean the news cycle doesn't keep spinning. The Rebel published documents this week which left Minister Darren Billis, NDP Minister Darren Billis, embroiled in scandal. Sworn affidavits filed by Minister Billis' own wife allege that the minister has a serious drug and alcohol addiction. The documents also reveal an intimate relationship between Minister Darren Billis and Government Caucus Chair Heather Sweet. Sworn affidavits filed in court by Mrs. Billis claim that the senior minister, quote, stepped out of the marriage on multiple occasions while Mrs. Billis was undergoing sensitive medical procedures. This indiscretion fits the timeline established by the NDP when the Premier's office kept hidden the names of two MLAs who had been disciplined for sexual misconduct. We sent emails to both MLA Heather Sweet and Minister Darren Billis. Neither NDP politician returned with answers. We then went, to, we then went straight to the source, to Premier Rachel Notley herself, to ask her to to confirm or deny these allegations. Here's that clip. Premier Rachel Notley, uh, documents filed by Minister Billis's wife, sworn affidavits, suggest that he has a problem with drug addiction, as well as suggest the details in that sworn affidavit suggest that he might be one of the MLAs who uh, the NDP caucus covered up in terms of sexual allegations. Can you confirm or deny this? Uh, what I can say is that uh, that question is essentially irresponsible rumor mongering, and uh, with the greatest respect to you, you work for an organization that uh, probably ought to be registered as a third party under the elections uh, legislation and so I have nothing more to say to that. Minister Billis, will you answer the question? I have nothing further to add. Other questions? Did you notice her answer there, or rather her lack of an answer? Same with Minister Billis for that matter, they were both dumbstruck. I think they were expecting an easy day actually, they just announced millions of dollars in corporate welfare and they really just wanted some puffball questions from the mainstream media. Instead, they had to deal with some real journalism for once. You saw how they handled it. Instead of answering, they pivoted and attacked the news outlet that I work for. Not only that, not least comments directly interfere with and might even compromise the government's legal position in ongoing litigation between the rebel media and the election commissioner. Here's the letter that our lawyer just sent the election commissioner. Not Notley showed her cards here at this press conference where she sidestepped legitimate questions in order to take stabs at the rebel. It made it clear that the election commissioner is either a partisan hack trying to get Notley reelected or at the very least that Notley has compromised the office of the election commissioner by persuading him to, be, to come to a predetermined conclusion. If you want to follow the whole story there, you can go to standwiththerebel.com. You'll be able to catch up with the latest news on the election commissioner trying to take swipes at the rebel. Something else came out of this bombshell investigation, which was actual evidence of the mainstream media deliberately hiding NDP scandals. It seems like it happens almost all the time, but in this case, it was so blatant that it was unignorable. There were many newsworthy points that came out of our exclusive report from, from Darren Billis using Minister Sandra Jansen's chief of staff to attend his divorce court for him, to Billis's wife swearing in an affidavit that Rachel Notley's second in command has a serious drug addiction. Let's put on the screen the Edmonton Star reporter's tweet. Look at that. This so-called reporter took the time out of his day to go to a courthouse and pull 400 pages of divorce files, the same ones that the rebel used to break three or four serious NDP scandals. Where was his huge expose? Where was the investigative journalism? Look, I don't need to tell you what this means for Albertans. Going into the provincial election, Albertans must be very wary of what is published by the mainstream media, especially the Edmonton Star. In fact, they should be especially concerned with what they're not publishing. Thankfully, for the latter, the rebel isn't in the pockets of the government, and you can count on us to follow the truth wherever it leads. For the rebel.media in Regina, Saskatchewan, this is Kean Bext. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this coverage on Minister Darren Billis and the NDP. This scandal is growing and more is breaking by the day. If you want to stay up to date, be sure to like and subscribe to The Rebel here on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook. You know the drill.